and go home with us. As you see, I drug bumper out of, I had it stored in a trailer out back. This one here is in good shape. It's got good powder coat on it. Uh, just needs cleaned up a little. So I'm gonna stick it on the truck today. The bed is all bolted down, solid. Stacks are mounted. Stacks could use cleaned up a little. I don't know if I'm gonna get time to do that or not, but stacks are on. I think that turned out pretty well. I mean, they're probably gonna ruin this new bed. It's black soot, but I, guess I'm crazy enough to do that so a um, few things that got to be finished on this before I can get it out and use it is I got to finish why I got to wire the bed because all the wiring the wiring for the bed is there I got to tie it into the truck wiring I got a gooseneck hitch access to cut and put in it I got to put the bumper on the front of the truck and get that all tied in so the snow plow mount actually kind of bolts to the bumper on this how we got it set up so I got to drill some holes to do that put batteries in the truck and I haven't heard it run since like August of this year or something. I just moved it around. So uh, yeah, then we got to get it running. I don't know if I'm going to get it all done today, but I'm going to work on it here. Got the bumper on it, as you see. Uh, snow plow mounts back on it. I actually worked on the uh, fuel fill spout. I made one, mounted it under the bed. Show you that. Um, I got the wiring harness all hooked up to the plow pump, so it should work. Um, right under there, you can see I made a bracket to hold the fuel fill up. Got it tucked in there all nice and tight. So, the next thing is I need to come up with a couple good batteries for it to put in it, see if I got electrical, and then I need to wire the back of it. That's gonna take a while. But. Oh yeah, forgot, still gotta do the gooseneck hitch access. But I just threw batteries in this thing. Thankfully I had a couple of batteries I feel are good. I gotta finish the hold downs. Got an auxiliary lift pump on it I put on for when it's making power I can kick it on. I think what's happened, I think it's set for long enough, I think the contacts on the starter are sticking. So I think I'll have to pull that starter off now. It's just another thing, you know, but dealing with old trucks is what it is. So I put a little bit more time in on the old 94. As you can see, the lights are flashing in the background. That means it's got power. 
I actually, I think the starter's going to be okay. I think it was a little sticky. I've used it a few more times after it tried like running away on itself and I couldn't get it shut off. I, uh, I messed with it a little bit and I think, the, I think it's coming around. I think it was just from setting that it, uh, it had some moisture in it. But as you see, she's looking pretty sharp. Got the bed wired up. I wired in a tra trailer plug. I really don't like where this trailer plug is down here, but for now it's gonna work. I'm probably gonna move it. Uh, got flashers, they're working. I actually wired a trailer plug in while I was wiring for the gooseneck hitch that's going to be up in here. But we're not going to be able to do that gooseneck hitch right now. Let's see if this thing starts this time without acting all goofy. That's nice. That dual stack sound, that's what I was after. We're gonna go to my farm, put the snow blade on. It's about 15 miles away or whatever. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we make it there and back. That's a good test run. There she is. Plows on for the first time in at least three years. I maybe four years. I redid this plow. I, I rolled a piece of metal in the front of it. Put the wings and stuff on it a few years ago. I think she looks pretty good. All right, so the old 94, the nasty four flatbed project here made its maiden voyage, went to my farm, actually hauled some hay so for the cows because the snowstorm's coming, so I bought an extra bale of hay. Got the blade on it now. I think she's looking pretty good myself. I'm glad to see it back out. Still got some things to work on on it, but I think I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like seeing something different like this, just a kind of off-the-wall project, let me know winter here in indiana we got to do some wrenching you do what you can with what you got type deal i think this turned out great make sure you guys share like and subscribe thanks